there are four surefire ways to lower gas prices quickly. Have a depression, drain out the strategic petroleum reserve, scrap all clean air rules, overnight peace in the Middle East. Easy, right? CNN's Lizzie O'Leary joins us. Uh, Lizzie, Newt Gingrich promises he can lower the price of gas to two fifty a gallon. The president calls that promise phony. Who's right? Uh, probably a little bit more on the president's side. Two fifty dollar a gallon gas is a bit of a fantasy if you're thinking about it right now. I mean, it just simply doesn't work. You name the things that would happen quickly or could happen quickly, they don't really work. You could lower gas prices eventually by increasing the oil supply. You certainly hear Republicans call for that, but it wouldn't do anything in the short term. This is way too big an oil market, and as you know, the bulk of what makes up the price of gas is the price of oil. Oh, and it's all a lot of trade-offs, too. I mean, certainly you don't want a depression, so you can have 250 gas, right? Uh, exactly. I, I want to look at this. Gallup polled consumers and found the price at which they significantly changed their behavior is $5.35 a gallon. Richard Florida is author of The Great Reset. Uh, Richard, no economic statistic more immediate than gas prices, and consumers are feeling it. Is, is the frustration justified? Yeah, well, I think it, it, you know, that Gallup poll says 50 to 60 percent of us start to change our behavior when that gas price goes above five bucks a gallon, where it may be heading. And uh, really, it means Americans have to change the way we live. That's the fifth factor, you know, that you and Lizzie were talking about. And, and, and it may seem painful in the short run, but we have to change the way we live. Uh, we have to become less dependent on the car. We have to move closer to where we work. Increasing numbers are walking and biking to work or downsizing that house. If we want to make the American economy thrive, we have to make the American economy less oil dependent. And that means ch the most important thing the president can do and we can do is change the way we live. You know, there's how gas prices change your behavior and how you change the way you live. And then there's how gas prices change your vote. Lizzie, the president's approval rating has mm -hmm. dropped in the past month as gas prices have, have risen. A CBS New York Times poll shows that among people who make $75,000 or more, the president's approval rating was unchanged. But for people making thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year, their approval of the president dropped sixteen points. Lizzie, this is evidence for me that there are two Americas. You got stocks up eleven percent this year, but you got people making fifty thousand dollars or less feeling nothing but gas prices. Yeah, they're feeling nothing but gas prices. I mean, obviously there are a whole host of other economic factors that play into that two Americas. If that's the only legacy of John Edwards, we can keep that line. <laughs> but Yes, absolutely. That is the price point and the income point where gas prices bite, and they bite the most. One thing that's probably important to remember is that even if you have a 401k or a retirement account, most people actually have some sort of oil-related or gas-related something in there, even right. if they don't realize it. And so while, yes, it hurts at the pump, yes, you hurt it, you know, you feel it immediately, you, you might actually be sort of lining your own pocket on the other side.